Best in Blue. We are back, 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 right here on the Best in Blue on the Kazuki Network. I'm DC, sitting alongside my good co-host, Leah Roma. Hello. Hey, and we have been uh, having a great conversation with our very own Director of Police Services here in the city of Memphis, Director Mike Rollins. Director, we've done a lot of talking. Yes, yes sir. we've talked. We talked, and, and a we lot hope here. our we hope our listeners are getting these these facts that you're throwing out there, because a lot of it, I think, uh, will be left uh, in, ter- in terms of interpretation if the media interprets it for you versus yourself. And like you said again, director, you got a smartphone, Google it. If you don't believe it, Google it. I do it all the time. I mean, not to say that whatever is out there is going to be completely true if you do Wikipedia, but now you can Google a lot of information. And we want to talk right now about these officer-involved shootings and and the finality of those cases. Yes. How, where, other than listening to Channel 88 tell me that, oh, he shot somebody, you you never hear anything else after that. Yes. So if if you actually think about it, you rarely hear of an officer-involved shooting, number one. Uh, And if TBI conducts an investigation, uh, the results of the investigation will be posted on the Shelby County District Attorney General's website. If you go to www.scdag.com, you can see the entire case file. But the if you go on there and if you look under officer involved shootings under their main page, uh, I think it's probably eight or nine investigations that have been posted, but nobody reads them. So hmm. probably outside of me and Greg Coy, nobody <laughs> reads. Did you have to drop that name? Yeah, I, I got had, you. I had to drop it. Yeah, that's okay. It's fair. Fair game. But when we talk about transparency, that's what transparency was about. Yeah. Transparency was that the result of the investigation will be posted for the public. But if the public doesn't go look at it, sure. then what are we talking about? So if you go back to Ferguson, 2014, if you think about the, the DOJ did a very exhaustive report on the shooting of Michael Brown. They also investigated the city of Ferguson. 86-page report. They interviewed 147 witnesses. They looked at physical and forensic evidence, legal analysis, the legal standard, use of force, willingfulness and they made a conclusion do you know what their conclusion was no sir i can only tell you what i heard that the shooting of michael brown was justified Mm. they interviewed 147 witnesses so just because you see someone on cnn saying that i saw it all guess what that make it so you need to go read their report because the report says that that person didn't know what they were talking about and they their their statement on CNN or whoever they gave it to was found to be inaccurate, or they couldn't validate it. Well, now, director, now you know some the squeakiest wheel sometimes gets all the grease on it, right? You're going to always have a wheel that's going to be squeaking, and some squeak louder. And typically, when the media comes around, the, the, I'd say the mainstream media, that's who they're going to go talk to. Yeah, but but. So here's what I told a group of folks. You know, you go to a football game, 60,000 people in the stadium. Sure. There are about 10 people you can look around the stadium and pick out because they yell and scream and, and they're shouting the whole game and everybody looks at them like, will you please sit down? I'm not enjoying the game. Just because you're the loudest and the most obnoxious does not mean that we should pay you the most attention because the facts matter. So here's what I tell people. If you're going to ask for transparency, then you need to go read the report. Kind of like in school, the teacher asks you to read, you know, 15 chapters. Nobody would read it except the smart kid in class. That's right. That's right. And that's why the smart kid got the best grade. Yeah. So if we're going to grade each other, you know, we're always grading law enforcement, then we need to go out there and read the reports, and we need to give, you know, these incidents a, a true grade and not just hype them into some type of media event or uh, promote a false narrative because the facts do matter. In law enforcement, it's all about the facts. Yeah. And often 
I hear things being reported, and they are not factual. I hear people making statements, and they weren't even on the scene, and that they're identifying themselves as key witnesses. Well, we wait. We wait and do an investigation. Every time there's an officer-involved shooting or an incident involving an officer that's serious, there's an internal investigation. Sure. Hmm. We make sure we interview. We look at physical evidence, forensic evidence. We determine the facts because there's always three sides of the story, right? At your side, there's going to be Leah's side, and then in the middle, there's going to be the truth. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so we're, 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 tr- we're seeking the truth, and I just ask the public, the listeners, to be v- real critical mm-hmm. of what you hear and be critical of what you see, and then it's your job to really kind of sort through that and try to get to the truth. But don't run with the first person that mm-hmm. tells you something. Uh, because that's normally not the, exactly what happened. It's normally uh, totally what did not happen. Yeah. Uh, and you have to take time to, to really sort through things to get to the fact. Director Rollins, uh, as always, it's always good to have you here on Best in Blue. This this program was one of your brainchilds to try to get information out to the masses. Get the word out. Get the word out mm-hmm. on your Memphis Police Department. Uh, Our. So the Memphis Police Department belongs to all of us. That's correct. I just happen to be the director, but the police department is here to serve the citizens. The police department does not serve Mike Rawlings. We serve the citizens of Memphis. It is our police department. Wow. And that's the last word. And that's that on that. You've Always a pleasure. Thank you, Director. Thank you, Director Rawlings, for being here on Best in Blue, right here on the Kazookian Network. This is Lee Recruiter with the Memphis Police Department, Officer Kevin Moore. Join the best in blue. Our requirements are achievable. Our standards are the highest. Our officers are the finest. We are the best in blue. Join MPD.com.